Hello. I'll present about our paper, Dyna Vins, a visual inertial slam for dynamic environments. Most of the visual slam algorithms are based on the premise that environments are static. However, in the real world environments, various dynamic objects exist. In this paper, the objects of interest are categorized into two types. Dynamic objects and temporarily static objects. The dynamic objects represent the object which move while being observed. These objects distract the visual slam framework. And the temporarily static objects represent the objects which are static while being observed, but move while not. These objects lead to false positive constraints in loop closure procedure. To tackle these problems, we propose a novel visual inertial slam algorithm to deal with various dynamic objects, called Dyna Vins. Our algorithm consists of two parts. First, a robust BA is proposed to reject the effects of features from the dynamic objects. In the robust BA process, we adopt the weight momentum factor and the regularization factor. With those two factors, the effects of the features from the dynamic objects can be minimized. After the robust BA process, multi-hypothesis clustering-based selective optimization is proposed to reject the false positive constraints from the temporarily static objects. To compare between loop closures, first, adjacent keyframes which track the same features are grouped. Here, we assume that the relative pose between a keyframe in the group and the initial keyframe of the group is accurate. Then, based on the type of features used to match, the estimated pose of the initial keyframe of the current group is different. In the animation, the estimated pose of the initial keyframe using a static object is shown. Also, the estimated pose of the initial keyframe using a temporarily static object is shown. Using those characteristics, first, constraints are clustered into several hypotheses. Then, each hypothesis is weighted so that the true positive hypothesis from the static object is weighted higher. Finally, the optimization is performed. As a result, our algorithm is robust to not only dynamic objects but also temporarily static objects. Now, we will show you the results of our algorithm. We used VIO dataset to validate our algorithm in dynamic environments, and also our own dataset containing temporarily static objects in real-world environments. We will show the results of algorithms on city day high sequence on VIO dataset. Other algorithms are affected by dynamic objects while ours is stable. DynaSlam lost the track due to the scale issue. When there are dominant dynamic objects, ORB Slam is diverged and VIN's fusion is being unstable, while ours is stable using very few features from static objects. These are the trajectories of algorithms in city day high sequence. When a big truck which is dominant dynamic object is moving. Other algorithms lost track and thus trigger unstable pose estimations due to the features from it. We will show the results of algorithms on parking lot high sequence on VIO dataset. As in left image, our algorithm rejects the features from dynamic object well. While observing a car. Trajectory from ORB slam is diverged, and from VIN's fusion is being unstable. And if dominant dynamic object exists, Dyna slam cannot reject it and diverged. Here, VIN's fusion is affected by a car again. As you can see in the figure, because of the features on the moving vehicle, the poses of other algorithms went in the opposite direction from the moving vehicle. Through the results from the VIO dataset, it can be confirmed that our proposed algorithm is robust to various dynamic objects. On our dataset, especially on E-shape sequence, the marker plate is moved and placed into three end vertices while not being observed. As shown in the figure, there can be false positive and true positive loop closure on a single image. But our algorithm successfully separated the features for each hypothesis. Thanks to that, ours is not affected by temporarily static objects. We will show the results of algorithms on our E-shape dataset.
Here, an exactly same object observed before is detected at a different location. Our algorithm determined the loop closure as a false positive. Thus, even the trajectory is affected by it. The effect of the loop closure is reduced. And as you can see, other algorithms use the false positive loop closures and the trajectories are being inaccurate. When there are true positive loop closures good for optimizing all trajectory, our algorithm further reduce the effect of false positive loop closures. As a result, our algorithm has more stable result compared to others. Moreover, we combine switchable constraints with VINS fusion, and test it on our dataset. Here's the results from temporal static sequence. As you can see, ours and switchable constraints reject the false positive loop closures well. As a result, although switchable constraints also reject the false positive loop closures, ours has a more accurate trajectory result. To check the feasibility for the real-world application, we tested algorithms in the general home environment. Note that this is just for the qualitative comparison. As you can see, VINS Fusion has an inaccurate trajectory due to temporally static picture frames, while ours is not affected by them. Thank you for watching video. More details about the DynaVINS and quantitative evaluations are in the paper.